Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm Nick the Geek and in this video I want to show you my 2021 gaming and home theatre setup. Again, this channel isn't currently monetized and nothing is sponsored. Everything in this video was bought with my own money. So for those of you who have seen my 2021 working from home and productivity desk setup video, you'll remember that I created a sit-stand desk from an IKEA Colby worktop. As I was rebuilding my gaming and home theatre setup at the same time, I wanted to keep the theme throughout the room. As a massive geek, I've got a lot of tech. The PlayStation 5 Disc Edition, the Xbox Series X and my custom PC. I needed something to keep them all on. I previously had a small TV cabinet, which I've replaced with this 246cm wide IKEA Colby worktop, and I've mounted that on some 50cm high rustic metal legs that I bought from eBay. Now this gives me a large amount of space for my consoles and my PC. Underneath the desk I've done a basic attempt at cable management. The plug extension leads are mounted onto the desk. The cables are all cable tied together and strapped to various mounting points. It's not the neatest job, but when you're sitting in front of the desk you don't see them. That's all that matters to me. I've also got a beer fridge and that's strategically placed to hide a horror show of cabling, a UPS, my cable modem and a Raspberry Pi which is used as a pie hole. Also underneath the desk is the Yamaha Avantage RX A4A amplifier, and this powers my Dolby Atmos enabled setup of a Q-Acoustic 7000i 5.1 system with two Dali Alteco C1 wall mounted speakers for the Atmos height channels. This Avantage RX A4A is a new HDMI 2.1 enabled amp, and this is free of the HDMI bug which played the 2020 lineups. So moving on to the stuff that's on the desk, Starting with the TV, now I previously had the LG C755 inch OLED. While it would have been quite obvious to go for the LG C1 like everyone else, I really wanted to get this Philips 55 inch OLED 856 with Ambilight. Ambilight was the main draw for me. I'd long wanted some bias lighting behind my TV setup, but didn't want to have some cameras stuck to the front of the TV or have to go through the Philips Hue sync box. That wouldn't work with built-in smart apps that didn't go through HDMI. This Philips OLED 856 fit the bill perfectly, along with coming with all of the usual HDMI 2.1 features such as variable refresh rate. The lighting can also sync up with the Philips Hue light strip I've got going around the top of the room, and that's for when you want a little bit more of a wow factor. Also on the desk I've got an Echo Dot and my Virgin Media cable box. For consoles, I've got the Sony PlayStation 5 Disc Edition, which I've had since launch, and I've also got the Xbox Series X, which again was a day one purchase. I don't tend to use the PS5 too much, and my main console is the Series X, and I use the Microsoft Xbox Elite 2 controller with this. The PC is a self-built Ryzen 9 5900X rig. It's got 32 gigs of G-Skill Trident Z Neo RAM, it's got the MSI Supreme X RTX 3080 GPU, and this is all built inside the Lian Li 011 Dynamic case. Now this is a beast of a PC, and it can quite easily run the most demanding games smoothly in 4K. I have the HP Reverb G2 Virtual Reality headset, and this is mainly used for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I used to use the Oculus Quest 2, but moved to the Reverb G2 for the sharper clarity in Flight Sim. Adding a bit of realism to Flight Sim doesn't stop there. I've got the Honeycomb Alpha Flight Yoke, along with the Logitech Throttle Quadrant and rudder pedals. As a private pilot, this gets me a little bit closer to reality without having to spend £100 an hour on fuel. And this is all mounted on a Wheelstand Pro. On another Wheelstand Pro, I've got a Logitech G920 Force Feedback Steering Wheel. I love driving games, so this just adds a little bit of realism and feel. This is all plugged into a USB powered hub mounted centrally under the desk. Speaking of peripherals, on the wall I've got mounted an IKEA Scadis pegboard. This holds my Keychron K8 keyboard, my mouse, my spare Xbox wireless controllers, the controllers for the Reverb G2 and my headsets. I've got the Sony PlayStation Gold headset that I had with my PS4, my Corsair HS70SE and the Microsoft Xbox wireless headset. I'm using the new IKEA Upspell straps to keep my controllers mounted. The ones I'm using for the VR controllers in particular have a very clever safety locking mechanism. It doesn't end there, and I've also got the Logitech X52 Pro, which I use with Elite Dangerous mostly. The Keychron K8 keyboard is a relatively recent purchase. 
I finally decided to join everyone in getting a mechanical keyboard and this 10 keyless one was the one I chose. Now I went for the one with the uh, brown switches and it feels and sounds great. Finally, for seating, I've got a Sophology Dorchester electric recliner sofa. Now this is a few years old now and has since been discontinued, but it's exactly what I wanted. A nice leather sofa with center console for the remote controls and drinks holders too. So I hope you've enjoyed this whistle stop tour of my 2021 gaming and home theater setup. What do you think of where I like to relax and unwind? Would you do something different? Or is there anything you'd like to see in more detail? Let me know in the comments below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button and feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more from me in the future. Thanks very much for watching.